Hello and welcome back to my morning report. Charles appraisers on Monday the 18th of July with me, which pay market analyst at Handtech Markets. Moving on to dollar yen now. We've seen fairly sort of corrective candle on Friday, but um, that's sort of been to a certain extent just uh, negated really by the moves that we've seen today. Another sort of 80 ticks higher rebounding move. Um, as the uh, momentum indicators continue to unwind really, I think that we're now we are still sort of moving towards um, a bit of a, a crossroads, I think, um, for uh, for Dolly. And you've got the RSI mid mid fifties. It tends to sort of get back towards sixty before rolling over, or has done. Sixty was the limit in May, and that was quite a strong move, wasn't it? In May we saw one in five fifty up towards one eleven. So five five hundred and fifty six hundred ticks uh, on uh, on Dolly N. About 600 ticks, yeah. Uh, and we've seen, six, again, 600 ticks in this rally. So that moved to six, uh, around 60 on the RSI. We're not too far away from that now. <laughs> You've also saw a move to unwind the MACD lines. You've seen quite a strong unwinding on the MACD lines there again. So I think that, generally speaking, you've got to still continue to play this trading, uh, sorry, this downtrend channel. And if that you're going to do that, then you're looking out for the next sell signal. So is it going to continue higher? I mean, the, the resistance obviously comes in 106.80, which was the high that we saw just prior towards the sell-off uh, on the Brexit. Um, that pretty much marks the top of this downtrend channel. Uh, top, top of the downtrend channel today comes in 107.45. Um, and uh, at the end of this week, it'll be 106.80 area. So it would need to continue higher throughout this week and then subsequently break out to really sort of change or materially change the outlook on dolly yen and um, for my money I, I still think this is a rally into selling opportunity um, you got the hourly chart zoom out here just to see it a little bit better the hourly chart where you've got the higher highs on the price but lower highs on the MACD lines the RSI and stochastics that sort of is a bearish divergence or a mild beginning of a bearish divergence um, whereby you're sort of beginning to think well are we losing impetus in this rally or is this rally beginning to run out of steam um, we saw the, the sort of selling pressure that we got through on Friday rebound today hit a high of sort of 105.95 area underneath the 106.30 which was Friday's high but as I said, is this beginning to now run out of steam? It'd be very interesting to see if, if uh, 105.95 stays intact as a resistance. Uh, it's only sort of 30 ticks away from that now. But um, these uh, these sort of the the pace of the run higher is just beginning to slow down a touch, isn't it? And uh, as I said, it'd be very interesting to see if this begins to now roll over and uh, show further weakness in the chart. So. Um, I wish you good luck in your trading on Dolly Internet and I'll speak to you later, I think.